What's better than watching one leopard on safari? Watching two leopards on safari. So after that amazing lunch on the rock, we find ourselves right back at the location where we know there's a leopard hanging out somewhere under this bush. We've been here for a while now and the tall grass isn't making it easy as we all try to keep an eye on where the leopard is. The leopard keeps looking towards one direction, so we decide to drive up a little and also scan the area. It sure doesn't look like anything else is up, this is the hottest part of the day. But then right behind us, look, another leopard, right on the road. We're now driving right back to our original spot, all the while keeping an eye on this new leopard. It seems that it's heading right towards the other leopard. Are they siblings? Are they mates? Will there be a war for territory? Who knows? One thing I do know is that its head is finally above the grass so I can get a quick photo. And as it vanishes right back into the tall grass, it sure does seem to be walking almost a straight line right to where we last saw that other leopard. And as it's maybe 50 or so yards away from where we think that other leopard is, it scales up this tree. What a view it must have from up there. Well, leopards are such agile felines. Since they can easily take prey that outweighs them up high in a tree, it's nothing for them to scale one just by themselves. As a few other jeeps have passed us on the way back to their lodges and camps to cool off, we decide to stay out in the jeep in the heat of the day just to watch over this leopard. No matter how hot it is, it's always a perfect day for me to sit back and watch wildlife. And just as I was going to take a quick cat nap, pun intended, the leopard is now on the move. Seems like it's going far away and out of sight from both us and the other leopard. My cameras can't keep up, so I might as well start putting my camera gear away and relax. And just when I start to, bam boom, our driver calls out that he sees a warthog. The leopard went right for a warthog hole and caught one. It is a very rare event to see a leopard on a kill. The other warthog does not know quite what to do. Warthogs can rip into a leopard using those sharp and powerful tusks. But they probably have to weigh out the concern of their own safety before trying to help out another warthog. Warthogs like all pigs are very intelligent. And this time, the warthog is probably deciding the fight is over for its fellow warthog. The action is so far away and my cameras are all zoomed out, but you can make out a little bit of blood on a leopard's face here. The squealing of the warthog lasted for what seemed to be a lifetime. It's always an uneasy feeling watching an animal die, even if it's far away. But predators need to eat, and in Africa it's truly a circle of life. But still, it kind of gets me, as I know how much I love life, and I'm sure that little warthog wanted to live longer. But what can you do? It is the wild, and the wild is brutal. As the leopard that did the killing seems to slow down, it starts looking around. The other leopard appears, and is starting to get close. 
Now they must have some kind of relationship, as here they are only about 20 yards or so apart, and neither seems that nervous about the other one being around. Well, let's leave this scene be and take off to find who else is out and hopefully they're having a better day than that Warhawk. This pattern belongs to a Maasai giraffe. Now there's only an estimated 32,000 of the Maasai giraffe left in the wild. Giraffe populations are dropping fast. They don't get the attention animals like lions do, but they badly need it. Giraffes are also one of Putin's favorite animals to see on safari. I hope their populations will be able to start the rebound if we can protect enough habitat for them. And another animal we're seeing up close on our way back is the elephant. We might be watching this herd up close for a while, as none of them seem to be in a hurry to move aside. Well, as they finally walk away, we finally drive away. And back in the tent, I have a drink for that fallen warthog. And I also hear the Putin's views on it. I mean, do you feel sorry for that baby warthog? Mm -mm. No. Nope. I feel sorry for the baby warthog. Someone has a heart. Someone's heartless. <laughs> sorry, baby warthog. How heartless. Oh well, time to watch the sun go down and call it a night as the hyenas sing us to sleep. Be sure to read this video's description for ways to help African wildlife. And as always, thanks for watching.